Hi, I'm Alex Hlusko of Commercial Photographer, founder of Footage.com. This is our first assignment, bi-weekly assignment uh, for ProCorner members on 40G. This time we'll be shooting silverware. Silverware uh, as an uh, example of glossy subject, which is, uh, well, it's a big part and quite challenging part of uh, studio product photography. So, the idea is to go to your place, grab your camera, grab your lighting, uh, grab some silverware and shoot it the way uh, you feel most challenging or, or end uh, the most interesting uh, for your portfolio to be placed after that, right? Or, uh, well, maybe you will have some assignment uh, right, right on this, so you can always jump and, uh, you know, do real stuff as an assignment for Pro Corner and, you know, get money from your client. Anyway, so I'm not limiting how to shoot it, how to position your camera. It's up to you. Uh, you will be decision maker. I'll help you to overcome the issues and to get the result. And uh, once uh, we got submitted all uh, the images, we'll do a workshop when, where I will kind of cover those areas where we had uh, I mean, photographers who participated had the problems uh, and uh, uh, show it right in the studio on live event, you know, how to shoot this stuff. How to participate? Uh, you need to submit your results maybe your intermediate results on the 40G forum. Uh, there is a forum on ProCorner. Uh, let me show you one second. Uh, here is a bi-weekly assignments, if you see it, right? And uh, it's a sub-forum, Silver Photography. Deadline is 11th uh, of um, November. So two weeks from now, just add topic where you will submit your result. One topic per one participant. Okay, you will submit your result. Make sure you submit your lighting setup or you can even record the video going all around and showing you know how you put your light. Because this is the very essential uh, in order to help you to uh, to suggest you how uh, to get uh, this stuff done. Uh, if we see how you shoot it. Because what the good if uh, you know uh, we won't see your lighting setup, uh, we didn't know what kind of light modifiers you used, where you place your light, so it will be really hard to, to help you, okay? And then I'll review uh, all the submissions, we'll find the most uh, problematic areas and we'll cover it. Now, about the approach. When you shoot silverware, when you shoot glossy stuff, you make sure to showcase its glossiness. How we do it? I'm repeating it, I did it in several um, previous workshops. We need to show highlights, overexpose some parts, we need to show shadows. Some of the pieces should be dark, maybe just little ones. Uh, the worst thing uh, may happen to silverware when you cover shooting area with some diffuser or some reflector and uh, just, you know, highlight it with some nice big soft box or whatever and you get a matte look. It will look like uh, plastic instead of, you know, glossy because it won't be highlights, it won't be shadows, it won't be gradients between them. So we won't catch viewer of that of such image, won't get the idea that it was glossy. Make sure that you have highlights and shadows. And uh, forget about using directly soft boxes or uh, some lights like uh, bar um, lights covering, you know, with reflectors like this. Use, always use, between your light and your subject, which is glossy, use some reflector or use some diffuser, okay? This is just white diffuser, do-it-yourself diffuser, and this is just a cardboard, right? Which costs nothing, white cardboard. This is reflector, you can shoot through it, so it's a little bit harder to walk, but still possible. You just need to, you know, shoot, highlight it from the subject side, right? You can highlight it from other side. Beauty of the diffuser, diffusers, that you can highlight them and, sh and have light 
behind. Let's say if you have here a subject, it's a good idea to cover it, right, with your light. And then you have a light, and you see, you can create a spot, right? And uh, if you make it diffused enough, you can uh, have that reflection on your subject. You can have that reflection on your subject, so this area will be dark, this will be bright. That's how we will get the idea that it's glossy. Okay? Uh, then, because it will be reflective, it will be like a mirror, right? Always remember about uh, law of reflection. If you shoot your items right from the top, top-down shot, it was a request, you know, how to shoot stuff uh, top-down. What do we do? It will reflect all which is on top, basically camera. So you get large diffuser, make a hole in it, sticky lens, and then create spots on the diffuser if you're shooting top down. If you're shooting anything, let's let's write it here. If you shoot something, let's say, on the 45 degree angle. This is your shooting search surface. Let's say here, here you have some silverware some forks, whatever, and your camera is here, or maybe, let's say, 45 degree here, right? Camera, okay? Where do you put your uh, diffuser? Where do you put your reflector to create uh, highlights and shadows and this? Law of reflection. It will be somewhere here, right? Not on top. Maybe not here. You Maybe you don't need to cover camera. Again, of course, Silverware, it's not a flat pieces, uh, it's lots of uh, curves and uh, some surfaces like, you know, spoons kind of spherical. So they may reflect, of course, some spoon may reflect stuff from here because the angle, you will see it, will be really sharp. So this angle will equal this, right? And it will pick up reflection from here. But most of the stuff, like handles for the spore, uh, spoon, forks, uh, knives, will be flat, flat enough. So always think where it's picking up that reflection, where you need to put your diffuser, large diffuser, and create some spots on it. How to create spots? The best thing is to use something like this, okay? This is a honeycomb grid. You can always combine honeycomb grid with something like this, right? Or, well, different sizes. Let's say if I would use uh, just regular, uh, I think it's 70 degree Hasselblad reflector, right? I can stick such screen inside, right? I can cover it with, whoa, and it will end up creating very little spot somewhere. So, be creative. Any type of light will work, of course. You need strobes, uh, you know, you can use uh, continuous lighting. You may not need to use any of uh, soft boxes or strip boxes. Sometimes it's a good idea to have strip boxes. But if, if you have, that's cool. You can always create nice linear gradient. But don't use that soft box directly. Well, you know, there's always exceptions. So I'm not saying you never use it if it will work. But if something is not working, you don't like, you don't get nice gradients, and uh, using directly softbox without any diffuser between softbox and uh, the subject, get it there, put the diffuser between softbox and see the results. Okay? Okay. To make things a little bit more clear, let's do demonstration. Really uh, quick demonstration of uh, what I was talking a minute ago about uh, approach, how to shoot silverware. Again, silverware can be any uh, silver and glossy piece for which we used, you know, on our tables uh, uh, to make, you know, nice dinner to serve uh, things. Consult Google. Consult Google if you uh, have doubts of what silverware and what is not. But again, there is no boundaries, right? We photographers, we're trying to learn how to shoot glossy subjects. Uh, but we will be trying to shoot uh, advertisement type of shot for the silverware, okay? So. Technical things, uh, I have a diffuser just uh, self, well, it's uh, made from screen frame diffuser on top of black 
glossy plexiglass where I placed uh, one spork, uh, one spoon, one fork. Okay, spork. One spork. It may be interesting word. Anyway, uh, I just placed them the way you see. Nothing fancy. One light source, one light source, our spot behind creating, um, you see with modeling light, it just creating a spot uh, right behind the composition, right? And uh, the angle is exactly that that spot appears in the middle of our uh, black plexiglass table. So let's shoot. Let's shoot. Let me set focus and uh, share my screen so you will see what's going on. Capture One Pro, some F22, whatever. It has nothing to do with the lighting. <coughs> you will select right exposure for your uh, particular items and your particular setup. So let's see what we get in here. Okay. That was I was talking about. It's glossy. It appears glossy, right? It appears glossy because we see that there is some highlights, pretty much a lot of highlights. And if we turn on, <coughs> excuse me, uh, well, there is no overexposure, which is good, but it looks pretty bright. And there are dark areas, right? And it's just one light source, nothing more. And uh, of course, you can change the position of that spot. Let's say I rotate it a little bit on the side and it will change the picture. And uh, when we change the position of our subject, let me just rotate it somewhere else. That spot, it will be a different picture. But the idea is to show uh, glossiness, bright and dark areas. And uh, if uh, we move angle or we move our subject, let's say like this, well, I probably won't see anything uh, because I have spot a little bit too high. So I'm moving back to, to be reflected in the middle of the table. And uh, I moved spork so it's facing the camera. And you'll see uh, most likely spork, spork, fork. I'm sorry, spork. It's something which is connected to me. So fork, you see I moved it. Now uh, it reflects. By the low reflection, it reflects something on this side. I have nothing here. No diffusers, no reflectors, no lights. Because studio light doesn't work, right? It's a strobe, so it's not seeing anything. And because I don't have nothing, it's completely black. Take a look, right? So meaning that if you need to put something, you add, if not light, with a diffuser, at least reflector, and it will uh, get something reflected. That's the beauty of working uh, with reflective subjects, right? You can easily calculate where it picking up in reflection, where it pick up picking up the reflection. Okay, did it help? Well, not much. Uh, it looks like it didn't get uh, much light that reflector, or maybe I didn't put it on the right spot. So this will be a challenge, okay? And this is the assignment to get nice shot of silverware on a white or on a black background doesn't matter. Make it not easy to do. Make it challengeable for yourself. Don't limit yourself only a few items. Get some more. Get maybe some I don't know saucepans or whatever, which will be glossy as well and will be really hard to make uh, it look nice because it will pick up reflection from everywhere. Make it challenging for you. You know your level. Try to get something which is above your level, your current level on shooting of these items. This is the idea of assignment, to learn something. OK? So the deadline is 11th of November. And uh, well, I wish you good luck. And well, if you're not in Pro Corner, join us. It's never late. And learn this cool stuff. It's, it's the first assignment. Every two weeks, we'll have a new one. Everything will be recorded, placed in Pro Corner. If you couldn't uh, join us during the live troubleshooting, it's okay. You can always watch later. Okay? Good luck. Bye.